Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a reading for Aries and it's confession time. What do you need to release? Okay, it's time to get deep, dark, and dirty. Confession time. No more lying to yourself, Aries. What do you need to release? Please give me clear and concise messages for Aries. What do they need to confess and release at this time? What does Aries need to confess and release at this time? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, Aries, let's see. What do you need to confess and release at this time? Okay, three of cups. Okay. This could be, for some of you, a third-party situation. It could also be um, a reunion or some kind of celebration. So if you were planning on maybe reaching out to someone like an ex that you knew was in a toxic, it was a toxic relationship, you're being told, you know what, you should just release that person. Okay. If, like I said, it's a third party situation, you need to release that third party situation. You need to resolve that. And... If you were planning some some kind of like a gathering or event, you're being told not to do that at this time due to COVID. Okay. So different messages coming through for different people at, and di just planning different things in their life. So don't reach out to that ex. And that third party situation. Don't plan that event. Somebody may get sick and die. Also, I'm getting um, if you were given the option to like go back to work or work from home, uh, you're being told to work from home because if you go back to work, it's going to be more like a party atmosphere and then you don't know you're risking getting sick. And if you live with people, you're risking them getting sick. Okay, so what else does Aries need to release? Okay, what does Aries need to release? Okay, thank you. Okay, so let's see. We have here clarity and life purpose that came out together. Okay. So I'm feeling for some of you like your mind is clouded. Um there's some things that you're still not sure about and it has to do with your life purpose, what direction you want to go in. So I feel you need to like, take this time to sit down. Shh. You have to take this time to sit down and really meditate and focus on what it is that you want to get that clarity for your life purpose. Okay, we have forgiveness here. Okay, so for, for those of you in um, a third-party situation, you need to ask someone for forgiveness so that you can release this third-party energy. Michka, zip it. I'm doing a reading. Quiet. Come here. Come on. Come on. Okay. Meet Mishka if you haven't already. Say hi, Mish. Okay. I know. She almost looks like a cat. Okay, so... You may need to ask for forgiveness, like I said, with someone in this third party situation. It could also be somebody that is coming towards you from the past. Like I said, it could be a reunion and they're asking you for forgiveness. But if this person was toxic and you don't, you don't feel sure about it, it's time for you to release them. Okay. And that could even be the clarity that you need to figure out, okay, do I want to have this person in my life again? Do I want to risk you know, that toxicity that we had in the past. Is that what I really want from my life? Okay, so you really need to sit down and, and figure that out so you can release that energy. Trust. So I feel with this person there was no trust either. Yeah, you really need to release them. Release the third party situation. Release this person that you're either reaching out to from your past or maybe reaching out to you. 
And um, also with trust, if you don't trust the environment, if it's a work-related thing, like you're being asked to go back to work, if you don't trust the environment, like they're not keeping things sanitary, they're not really doing anything to keep you or the area safe, if you don't trust it, then don't do it. And rites of passage. So somebody here may be um, asking to marry you. Forgiveness, trust, marriage, I'm, I'm seeing here. Um, and the celebration, you know, some of you may have to postpone a wedding. Okay. Uh, so I'm seeing that also you're planning a celebration. It could be a marriage here with rites of passage and it's going to be time to postpone that because with the, just everything going on right now, it might be uh, too detrimental. Okay. So let's see what else we got. Okay, what else does Aries need to release? Okay, what else does Aries need to release? What else does Aries need to confess and release, please? Last shuffle, what else does Aries need to confess and release? Okay, thank you. Okay, gratitude here. So some of you may not be very comfortable with showing that you're grateful, so you need to release that. In other words, you need to tell people like, yes, thank you, I appreciate that, I'm very grateful. So you may not be practicing your gratitude and you need to put that out into the universe. Also, friendliness. You may, uh, I'm getting Oscar the Grouch. So if you're like an Oscar the Grouch person, you need to release more friendly energy, okay? And cooperation. So you may not be very cooperative either. So this is another energy that it's like, okay, you really need to release these positive energies into the universe. Let me put it this way. It looks better. Cooperation, friendliness, and gratitude. So I'm, I'm getting like a very strong Oscar the Grouch energy. Okay. Okay, what else does... Aries need to confess and release at this time. Use your time well, but make every moment count. All right, so you might be uh, somewhat of like a worry wart, very concerned with time. Use your time well, make every moment count. So you may be uh, like somebody that rushes a lot. You feel there isn't enough time. You need to calm down and release the fact that th you're just fixated on time. You know, you might be also very punctual. So it's like if, if you have somebody with you, it's like, come on, come on, come on. It's like, whoa, Busa, relax, man. Calm down. God, right there. Bring it down a few notches. So you need to just pull it back. No one's saying be late. Just pull it back a little bit. If, if you're a little, you know, too fixated and crazy in that uh, area of time. It's always tea time, eternity, endless moments, and repetition. So if you're repeating those same mistakes over and over and over again, you're doing the same thing over and over and over again, endless moments, repetition, you need to release that. You need to get that clarity again here to figure out which direction you're going in, what it is that you want to do, okay? Because you're doing the same thing. So what does this tell me? The definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting something to change. It's only going to change if you make a change, okay? A moment's regret, nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing you've made a mistake, okay? So some of you are dwelling on the fact that you made a mistake in the past. Somebody made a boo-boo and you're just playing it over and over and over again in your head, okay? So for those of you that that's the situation, maybe you need to ask for forgiveness. So in that particular situation, you need to release your pride, okay? If you're not in this energy, if you weren't being very cooperative, friendly, or, or gracious for, you know, I'm getting like a person or people in your life and so maybe you were acting like Oscar the Grouch and now you regret that behavior because you didn't trust 
this person or people in your life, you know, uh, with rites of passage here, it could be like friendships even, very close friendships. And now you need to swallow your pride because you did make a mistake and seek forgiveness so you can have that reunion, okay? Otherwise, it's not going to happen if you don't apologize. So you may need to, I'm feeling with that, because you have regrets, swallow your pride and ask for forgiveness so you can have that reunion and everybody can be happy. So I'm feeling in this situation, it may have been you were mean to a couple of people and now you're not talking. I wonder what will happen next. Ready to adventure, precipice of change, pause before action. Okay, so I'm feeling this is for those of you that um, might be reaching out to someone. It's like you're just kind of like, okay, I'm almost there. I'm, I'm kind of ready to take that step, but I'm still just going to wait and give it a little bit more time, okay? Because you need to have that clarity to see about trust and forgiveness. You know, Do I want to forgive this person? Do I want to allow them? Do I want to have that reunion? You know, like I wonder what will happen next. So for some of you, you might just have that reunion just because you want to see how it's going to pan out. And if that's the case, that's okay. You have free will. These are messages and this is guidance, okay? It's not the final say. You always have to keep that in mind when it comes to a reading. You have free will and you can change the course of your future, okay? Okay, so what else does Aries need to confess and release? Naked before the stars. Okay, so I'm seeing here you're very closed off with this card. Now, I know it says naked before the stars, but this is what do you need to release. Okay, so for some of you, it could be, you know, um, if this is the third party situation, you know, you need to release that. You need to get out of that situation. You need to not be so giving of your body to people. Okay. I'm, I'm also getting you maybe like promiscuous, you know, um, for others naked before the stars, I'm feeling that you don't want to let people in. You're very closed off and you don't want to feel naked before the stars. You, you don't want to feel vulnerable. This is something that you have a tremendous issue with. So my advice to you is baby steps with the right people in your life, okay? This is, again, where you have to focus on trust. You can be yourself. Mishka, knock it off. You're being rude and you're interrupting my reading. Shh, quiet. Sorry, guys. You have to trust the people in your circle, the person that you're with, however it resonates, your family, you know, however it resonates, I'm not saying trust every single person that you, you come across. None of us are going to do that because then not everybody is trustworthy. But you, you have to open up to a select few, okay? Because, you know, we all need somebody. Everybody needs somebody. And if you leave yourself alone, then that's why you're in that, like, Oscar the Grouch mode. So just be friendly, cooperate, show some gratitude to those in your circle that deserve it. And to those, you can be more vulnerable and naked before the stars, okay? All right, so let's see. What does Aries need to focus on at this time? What does Aries need to focus on at this time to help them better themselves and to heal? What does Aries need to focus on at this time to help them heal and better themselves? What does Aries need to focus on at this time to help them heal and better themselves? Oh, I love this one that flipped. Uh, this is so the last thing I had just said to you guys. Emotional balance with the heart chakra. Stability, harmony, peace, and fluidity. Okay, so fluidity. What is that here? Cooperation. You got to go with the flow. Okay, peace and harmony. Be nice. Stability. Okay, gratitude, emotional balance. You need that emotional balance, Aries, okay? Because some of you really need to work on that. So here with the heart chakra, open your heart up. Trust those that you know you can trust. Ask for forgiveness or forgive those that need to be forgiven, okay? And I'm hoping that this brings you the clarity that you've been looking for. 
Okay. Then we have intelligence with the crown chakra, education, knowledge, perception, and flexibility. Okay, so you need to be more flexible here. Maybe change your perception on a few things. You might be very stuck in what you see and believe, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's exactly what's happening. Knowledge and education. Expand your intelligence. Okay, Aries, you're very smart. But I feel with some of the situations in your life, you're not thinking clearly. You're not thinking smart. You're not acting smart. You're not making smart choices. So you really need to focus on that. Oh, shit. I don't think I've seen this card before. <laughs> oh, my God. This scared the fuck out of me. And then I thought for a second, is that Tupac? Holy shit. I'll show you in a second. Okay, so this is the sacral chakra, and this is also focusing on your emotions. Okay, so we have the heart chakra with emotional balance, and then we have the sacral chakra with emotions. So we got two cards focusing on emotions here. So you really need to get your emotions in check. Feelings, expression, moods, and balance, okay? When, that scared the daylights out of me. Holy shit. Okay. So, yeah, you're kind of all over the place, too. That's accurate. You're kind of all over the place. Like, you, you, you have just many different faces going on here. Not saying you're two-faced or fake, but it's just because you have the trust issues. So, and then you have an emotional, you know, you're very emotional. Which is ironic because um, Virgo... I'm sorry, Aries, I did Virgo before this. Aries is a fire energy, but yet you are a very emotional um, fire sign. So you really need to get your emotions in check. You need to get your moods and your uh, feelings in balance. And be careful the way you express yourself, okay? Again, be friendly, show gratitude, cooperate with those around you, all right? So this is, your, this is what you need to focus on in order to better yourself. Be smart, okay? Make smarter choices. Maybe some of you need to go back to school and get a degree of some kinds, okay? For career. And then emotional balance and emotions. You really need to focus on that at this time, okay? And that's going to help get you to the next level where you're going to feel better. You're going to feel more um, healed and in tune with yourself. All right, so that's all I have for you, Aries. Thank you guys so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.